Hello everyone, my name is Droogie Forever, and today we're gonna play something a little bit different. This is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. However, it has been patched to be basically Silent Hill. So, Silent Hill in The Legend of Zelda. So, I don't know what to do. I actually tried it a little bit. To see if I could like kind of get used to the controls and stuff and I don't know what to do I genuinely have no idea what to do with this with this game um but I don't I don't even know if I've played Ocarina of Time or if I have it's been an insanely long time so uh that might be my fault I'm not sure I I can get the sword and then I took I took out the wolf at one point. They're like, there's this like wolf that attacks you. I took him out, but then I died. But then the city changed a little bit, and then once it changed, I couldn't figure out what to do after that. So I just want to show you. We'll do, we'll just do like a quick video. Obviously, I'm probably not going to be able to get through it, but I just wanted to show you since it's Silent Hill and I play a lot of Silent Hill on this channel. So yeah, see, we wake up. We're in Silent Hill. All right, and if I turn around, see, it, it looks quite a lot like the beginning of Silent Hill, where Harry kind of wrecks or whatever. I think, if I remember correctly, so, like, this would have been where the, uh, the market was, right here, uh, this building. And if I go over here, I think the sword is up this alley. There's like an alley you can go down. But here's the problem. So after this, I don't actually know what I'm supposed to be doing. I have no idea how to lock one to enemies. That's something I really wish I knew how to do. Whoops, wrong. Okay. All right, so I can figure out how to attack, right? I still don't know what this does, what that firefly thing does, but I can attack and I can kind of change the camera. Okay, yeah. I really don't know any other controls. There's the wolf. I beat him last time, but barely. Because, I, again, I have no idea how to lock one. So, I came down here earlier. It wasn't foggy then. Oh, shit. I didn't know there were more wolves. I never had to fight two last time. Oh, I locked on somehow. I still don't know how I did this. I have no idea how I locked on. Alright, and there was nothing in here. I was expecting something in there, but there wasn't. And then there's these things, and they, like, grab me on the head. But I, I can't go anywhere past this. Like, I thought that this was where we had to go, because in the game, that's where you go. In Silent Hill, that's where you go. But I can't get back there, and I can't, like, get through this. And if you kill these things, they just pop right back up. 
And all they do is, like, they grab you on the head. Here, I'll show you. And they don't seem to take any health, or at least they didn't last play through. If you kill them once in a while, they give you a rupee. Oh, that one gave me a heart. But then, if you go away for a second, the, it'll reappear. So if you give it a second, it'll come back up. All right, we'll fight one more and let it. It'll be it'll be back up by the time we finish this. I promise. Uh, I'm not even close enough. Yeah, see, it's back. So I have no idea what to do about this. And if you die and come back, the rain and the fog goes away. Or at least that's what happened to me. I died and came back and the rain and fog were gone. So I could actually see the town after that. Um, I don't know if that was supposed to happen or not. But that's what happened. And then I've walked up to some of the doors and tried to go inside just to, out of curiosity. There's these other enemies too. But I've walked up to some of these to try to see if, you know, if we can go inside. And that doesn't appear to be the case. See, I don't, I don't appear to be able to go inside these. And then these enemies over here are kind of like, uh, man, I don't want to deal with this guy again. Shit. Oh, he dropped, what is that? Deku Nut. I can throw a Deku nut. All right, so then we got these guys. They're kind of like the enemies at the school. They'll grab onto you. I'm kind of surprised the bodies are just staying there. That's kind of weird. Oh, well, this one's gone now. But yeah, beyond this, I don't really know what to do with the game. I have no idea. I don't know if it's just this level, you know, and you just play it over and over again. And I have, I have no idea. It's a, it's a fun idea. I like it. I just uh, kind of wish I knew what I was supposed to do, you know? Yeah, you can't go in there. Okay. And then there's a... Yeah, there's a thing here. You can't go up there either. So there's like a fence there. And then this, I guess, is where the church would be, sort of. But again, it doesn't give me the option to open the door. And then I tried to go in here. But yeah, see, that doesn't work. So I don't know if there's more to it or if this is it. Like We just run around and... Just kill just these enemies and and that's the end of it. It's a neat idea though. You do need to have the ability to patch a ROM uh, with a special program in order to play this. Um, so I was able to patch it. So yeah, if you don't have the ability to patch an N64 ROM, you won't be able to play it. Um, but yeah, see, none of the doors seem to open. I don't know. I think maybe it's just this world. I do kind of want to show you what happens when I die. So that you can see how the world changes a little bit. All it really does, again, is take away the rain and the fog. Um...
I just keep walking up to the doors hoping that eventually one will let me interact with it. But that's not what happens. But yeah, pretty cool mod, even if it's just this. I do enjoy it. I just, uh, again, just wish there was more, you know? I just want to be able to do more with it. We did try this one, I think, already. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. If there's more to it, I haven't figured it out. I was trying to... What I thought maybe might be happening here is that you had... I thought maybe you had to defeat these four things in a certain order. But I've tried them in just about every order I could imagine, and it doesn't seem to have done anything. And the most I got for my trouble was a couple rupees. So I thought maybe this would open or something after I defeated, you know, them in the correct order, but I don't think so. I think this is pretty much it. I could be wrong. I think this is everything in the game. So anyway, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to show you Ocarina of Time, Silent Hill mod, you know, it's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed it and definitely check it out. I'll try to put a link in the description to the mod. I cannot give you a link to the ROM. You'll have to figure that out for yourself. Um, I might put a link to the program that you can use to patch the ROM. Um, so we'll see. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, tell that like button you want to smash. And don't forget to subscribe. You stay you. I'll stay me. Droogie forever. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Later.